Hey everybody, the Bearded Prepper here. I am still fully immersed in Central America, surviving the heat, learning um, learning some new skills, honing some of my existing skills, some of the skills I grew up with that maybe I've been a bit rusty on, learning to make it in a setting that does not have any of the, or very few of the modern conveniences that we've become accustomed to in America. I want to be prepared should I need to go back to the old ways and learn to um, learn to do things the old-fashioned way. You know, I've shared a lot with you about some of the economic um, things that are going on in this world that are putting us at risk, making sure we're prepared. But, you know, one thing I wanted to, to share with you um, is one of the projects we're working on here. So things are always much more exacerbated in a third world culture. Than they are in um, in the U.S. You know, while we're having some hard times with uh, fertilizer and being able to afford things, a bad um, inflation and such as that, it's much worse in a setting like this because they didn't have money to begin with. And if fertilizer is not available, and it is available some, but it's becoming uh, so expensive they can't afford it here. Um, we're returning to some of the old ways. Uh, some of the ways that never truly died here, but, um, you know, it's it's called the lost art of composting. You can see here behind me, we've got some composting started. We've got a little bit of manure mixed with some river sand. We're starting to put some organic matter in it, and we're going to turn this. Um, we're going to turn this pile, let it keep working in, keep adding manure from uh, local beef or I mean, you know, hey, in America, let's face it, we've got a fascination with horses. There are horse farms everywhere, boarding stables everywhere. They have so much manure, they don't know what to do with it. Uh, if you can get really fortunate and find someone with a poultry farm or a pretty large chicken house that needs to get rid of some litter that they're not using, this is a great option for it. So um, this is the new pile we're working on here, just getting it started. We've piled the dirt up, started mixing the manure in, but I wanted to show you what the end result is. I, I brought some with me out of the the uh, the pile that we're using now. And in this case, we didn't just use the compost as fertilizer. We actually mixed it in with the dirt. And you can see, look how rich, how rich and black that is. I mean, that is just crumbly black gold when it comes to, you know, growing in these settings. You can, it looks like potting soil from America. Um, only full of nutrients, not just co false color and, you know, additives to stretch it out. That's just pure black, nothing but rich black dirt. So if you've got raised beds or maybe got, um, you know, some crops out in the field and you need to get some extra nutrients to it, you can do one of two things. With this compost, you can soak it in uh, water, make some compost tea, pour it on the plants. It's as good as miracle Grow ever was. Or you can take it and just spread it down the rows. Put it in raised beds. Heck, I, we've even had people in more arid conditions start, um, you know, bucket containers. Buckets or old containers of any kind. Put your tomato plants in it. You know, put some cucumbers in it. There they do all their, you know, their dishes by hand. Throw your soapy dishwater, wash, excuse me. Throw your uh, soapy dishwater in it. It'll keep the bugs away. It'll nourish the plant. And in arid conditions when water is precious, it's not letting anything go to waste. So anyway, I just thought I would share that with you. Um, you know, a lot of people have small compost um, bins as such there in their, their backyard, but you know, we're not putting food in here. We're not drawing pests or critters in. We're just using the manure, uh, organic material when we harvest crops. The things that the cows want to eat, we'll throw that in there and turn it over. Um, any kind of organic matter or manure stuff like that we're mixing in and it's turning into that very rich dirt so and by mixing it in with some of the sifted sand it makes it very arable and it drains very well so it doesn't just pack up like clay but anyway it's just a another little tip i wanted to share with you in a short video um feel free to take it explore it research it on your own find what works best in your area the more knowledge you have the better off you're going to be in the long run especially when it comes to prepping and uh, being prepared for the, you know, hard economy or hard times. 
if food gets unattainable or beyond our ability to afford, you'll have the, the knowledge and ability to start growing your own. So even with rich soil like that in containers in an urban setting, you can grow a lot of vegetables. So anyway, um, as I always say, seek the wisdom and knowledge of our Lord and Savior. Uh, first and foremost, until next time, God bless. The Bearded Prepper out.